Let's set this up for a patient. Let's say the doctor's order or prescriptions indicate the patient needs to turn 45 degrees to their left for 10 minutes, dwell in the center for 10 minutes, and turn 10 degrees to their right for 20 minutes. Press the select button. Enter the dwell time for the left side, 10. Press the select button. Enter the dwell time for the center, 10. Press the select button. Enter the dwell time for the right side, 20. You can see the settings are now 10, 10, and 20. Press the select button to get to the left turn angle. Enter 45. Press the select button twice and enter 10. So now we have it set. We hit our rotation button and now it'll do what we programmed it to do. You'll see that it's going to inflate the right side and deflate the left so it turns a patient to the left. The speed of rotation is controlled by the power unit itself. So the amount of air that it's putting out will turn the patient. It has a timer on there so you know how much longer the patient is going to be on that side before the cycle is finished. One of the typical problems that you'll see in a turning mattress is that patients tend to shift to one side of the mattress and then they're not recentered. Our design will automatically recenter the patient. As you turn from the left side to the right side, this has a built-in feature where it will actually center the patient back into the middle of the mattress. Where it starts bringing him back, it will hold him there. And then it will drop to the other side. That, in effect, brings the patient back to the center of the mattress. If you are currently running in the therapy mode and you want to go to another mode, you will need to press the rotation button to stop therapy and allow you to access other functions. Then, press the select button five times to get to the function menu. One of the functions is upright, commonly known as Fowler. Although the MA95 does have automatic wireless Fowler, which will tell the power unit to put 25% more air into the mattress as you raise the head. You can activate it manually by going to the upright function. Another function is the pulse function. As the patient is laying flat on the mattress, the pulse will drop the pressure reading that you have set in half. The patient will submerse into the mattress and then it will bring him back up again. A little additional therapy for the patient. So if we have this set to 24 millimeters of mercury, the pulse feature will drop it in half down to 12. The patient will submerge into the mattress, dwell there for a few seconds, and then be brought back up. You can set the time from one minute to 99 minutes in duration. M-Pulse does the same thing, but without a time limit. In other words, if you set the M-Pulse for 10 minutes, the mattress will pulse for 10 minutes, go into static mode for 10 minutes, then back to pulse and repeat on and on. As with all of our microair models, each of these is fully tested before they leave the factory. After being tested to assure that the unit is fully operational, a seal is placed over the seam on the control unit. You want to be careful that you don't open the back because breaking the seal will void the warranty. All microair mattresses must be installed on medical bed frames with side rails. The side rails must be in the raised position whenever a patient is on the bed. Controls on the footboard may be obstructed by the power unit on a few bed frames. It may be necessary to relocate the power unit. Refer to the owner's operator and maintenance manual. Operate all bed frame motorized functions through their full range of motion to be certain that there is no pulling, interference, or pinching. Check that air hoses and power cord are clear of moving bed components before placing a patient on the bed. The mattress must fit the bed frame and side rails snugly to prevent patient entrapment. Patient entrapment with bed side rails may cause injury or death. Variations in bed rail dimensions and mattress thickness, size, or density could increase the risk of entrapment. After any adjustments, repair, or service, and before use, make sure all attaching hardware is tightened securely. Assist rails with dimensions different from the original equipment supplied or specified by the bed manufacturer may not be interchangeable and may result in entrapment or other injury. 
monitor the patient frequently. Proper patient assessment and monitoring and proper maintenance and use of equipment is required to reduce the risk of entrapment. Visit the FDA website at www.fda.gov to learn more about the risks of entrapment and review a guide to bed safety published by the Hospital Bed Safety Workgroup and located on Invicare's website at www.invicare.com. Refer to the Owner's Operator and Maintenance Manual for additional product and safety information. The MA95 is the top of the line model. It has the ability to automatically turn the patient versus having to rely on the caregiver to do the turning. And it's the outstanding choice for the most serious patients requiring a high level of pulmonary therapy, those who require 40 degrees of turn or more. It also offers true low air loss therapy, industry innovating wireless automatic fowler, protection from shearing and friction, and alternating pressure therapy. They're made in the USA and contain the features, the quality, and the durability that make them standouts in the field of therapeutic support services. Invicare. Impossible stops here.